Hi, I am Dr. Komal Kumar, Senior Consultant Neurologist, Ashoda Hospital, Sikandarabad. Today, April 11th is observed as World Parkinson's Day to increase awareness among global community about Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is the uh, second most uh, neurodegenerative disorder and the most common uh, degenerative movement disorder affecting 1% of the population above 65 years of age. Though predominantly is a disease of the elderly, it can affect people younger than uh, 40 years of age in which we call it as uh, young onset Parkinson's disease or in people less than 20 years of age in whom we call it as juvenile Parkinson's disease. And uh, there is a gender difference uh, in the uh, Parkinson's disease uh, incidence like uh, males are affected uh, three and a half times more compared to the females and the cardinal manifestations of Parkinson's disease are tremor where they will have shaking of uh, one hand uh, one, one side of the body and rigidity and uh, bradykinesia or hypokinesia where there is reduced uh, movements and postural instability. So these are the four cardinal manifestations of the Parkinson's disease. But there are uh, non-motor manifestations uh, which may precede these motor manifestations by months or even years also. For example, uh, some of the patients of Parkinson's disease, anosmia or hyposmia, reduced smell or absent smell may antedate motor manifestations by few months or years also. And other non-motor symptoms are uh, memory problems, behavioral disturbances, fatigue, pain, sleep disturbances like uh, fragmentation of the sleep in which the patient uh, awakens multiple times during sleep and early morning awakening and uh, these patients can have uh, REM behavioral dis disorders. And uh, if you see the major uh, symptoms uh, are tremor, rigidity, bradykinesia or postural instability. There are certain patients they present with uh, only tremor predominant uh, Parkinson's disease whereas another group of patients may present only with uh, predominant uh, bradykinesia or postural instability group. The patients who present predominantly with tremor have better prognosis compared to the patients who present with uh, bradykinesia or postural instability. And uh, the, there are uh, various uh, medications which we use in uh, Parkinson's disease patients. Like uh, in very early stages, we use uh, neuroprotective drugs like uh, salagelin or resagelin. And in patients who are symptomatic, uh, we use uh, drugs like amantadine, which releases the dopamine and uh, dopa agonists like uh, ropinrol, pramipexol or levodopa, which is the principal uh, chemical actually, which is reduced in uh, Parkinson's disease. Actually, the Parkinson's disease, the main pathology is uh, in the substantia nigra, it's, a, it's a, in the midbrain. So, the neurons, the dopamine producing neurons and substantia nigra are depleted in Parkinson's disease. So, so there will be reduced uh, secretion of the endogenous uh, dopamine. And uh, most of the patients, they do well with the medication in the first few years of the disease. But after uh, four to five years, they start uh, developing uh, many complications where uh, the drug fails to take its effect in the patient or they can have abrupt uh, uh, fluctuations and uh, even the duration of the effect of the medication also comes down. And uh, most of the patients become very symptomatic and this, these motor fluctuations can affect their quality of life quite significantly. But uh, there is a new promising, uh, in fact this, this therapy this is called deep brain stimulation. It has been there in uh, for Parkinson's disease for the last two to two and a half decades where we put uh, small electrodes into the deep structures of the brain. It is whether in uh, either in a subthalamic nucleus or in globus pallidus internal depending upon the patient's uh, main uh, symptomatology and then we connect them to an external pacemaker we, which we keep under the chest. So this deep brain uh, stimulation is uh, proven to be safe and uh, effective in the management of uh, patients with Parkinson's with motor complications and uh, with deep brain stimulation patients can have a better uh, quality of life. Thank you.